All right, guys, welcome back to another week. Now I'm 100%, my throat is good. I can scream with you guys. No, I'm joking, I'm not gonna do that. But first of all, please give us a thumbs up on this video, subscribe to the channel, share this video already with your friends. I guarantee you that one thing or another you will learn, and then definitely I will give you lots and lots of information for you during this week that it's coming. All right, so if you're not part of it yet from the family, from the Telegram family, if you're not part from the um, analysis, please join now. Lots and lots of information giving out every single day, all right? The link to join is on the description of this video. Now, let's go through this. What are we looking through this week? Euro dollar is melting. Gold is a little bit melting as well. US dollar indexes is skyrocketing. What is happening, folks? What is going on with the Forex market right now and the commodity market as well? Well, lots and lots of things did happen last week, but prepare, put your seat belt, because this week will be crazy, all right? It will be a um, very eventful week, as one of my friends here at ACY like to say, an eventful week. Now, starting off Monday, we will have some speakers, but right in Monday, we're gonna have retail sales from US month of a month, as well as the core retail sales month of a month, and William will be giving his speech. So remember guys, those speeches are very, very welcome now um, to the market, and the market like and wants to listen to those guys speaking from the Fed because it feels a little bit of uncertainty in what's going on at the moment from the FOMC, from the Federal Reserve. So wherever and when they have those speeches, it's really, really good to the market. Look to these and say, okay, this is where they're focusing now. Um, and so let's focus to that, all right? Um, this all will happen at 11.30 p.m. on Australia time, Sydney time. Um, and the retail sales month of month is expected to be a little bit uh, below um, the previous. 0.3% um, is the consensus and 0.6% was the previous. Um, as well as um, the retail control we're going to have as the previous zero. And the core retail sales is expected to be an increase from the previous 0.3%. We're expecting 0.5% now. This, remember, is the core retail sales. All right. After that, we're going to have a whole sale on Canada as well, month over month. Right, going through Tuesday, it's going to be very, very busy as well. We're going to have, I'm having my phone here so I don't miss the numbers because I did miss once and you guys did call that and I have to come here and say sorry. So I'm using my phone now so I don't miss the numbers, all right? So um, on Tuesday, uh, we're going to have retail um, investors. Uh, inventories as well as Atlanta Fed GDP now quarter one pay attention guys this is very very important all right um, consensus at 2.4 percent for the Atlanta Fed GDP now and the previous was 2.4 percent so this is not showing to us any growth into the economy quarter one all right so we're going now to quarter two but it's not showing any um, any um, growth into the quarter that's really not good for the USA, okay? Um, now, moving ahead, we're gonna have some China um, data coming in in the morning as well, such as the GDP quarter over quarter, quarter one, and year over year, uh, quarter one last year, okay? Um, expected to be 4.8% from the previous of 5.2. So last year, yes, they did reach the 5.2% that they were talking about, but this year, will they continue to have this stronger pace through the GDP? I'm talking about China here. So let's see how this release is gonna come on tomorrow, 12 a.m. to us, well, 12 p.m., right? Not 12 a.m., um, lunchtime. Uh, then after that, on Tuesday, we still have the core CPI for the Canada, all right? Month of a month, as well as the CPI, month of a month, is expected to come at 0.7% from the previous of 0.3%. I'm talking about the CPI month over month, all right? Now, Wednesday, um, we do have um, some of the news from New Zealand at 8.45 a.m. That's the CPI year over year quarter one, as well as quarter over quarter quarter one, 
um, as um, coming at 0.6% expected for quarter over quarter and the previous was 0.5%. So there is an expectation that it comes a bit higher um, than what was the previous, okay? Then we're gonna have CPI for UK as well as for Europe. On Thursday, we will continue to have some data um, for the Asia, so Australia, as well as Japan. Um, and then on Friday, we do have some um, core retail sales as well as German PPI and core retail sales for, in retail sales, sorry, for UK. All right, and then Saturday, we just have CFTC. So if you wanna dive deeper into those um, data that I've just mentioned now, do it joining me on the webinar for tomorrow, Tuesday, all right? So last Tuesday and Thursday, I didn't record the webinar. I've made it very, very clear multiple, multiple times because it was a very, very special webinar for those who are on the Telegram. So see, these are the type of contents you missing out. It's not private, nothing here is private. It's join us and be there that you will continue to receive those types of information. It's not private, it's public. You can go join or search us here on the Telegram, all right? So if you wanna look to those news, the way I look and how I see the market, then tomorrow is the day, Six, oh, sorry, five to 6 p.m. on Australia time, we will have my webinar, all right? So the way you do is to wait to join this, it's free, no, no costs, no credit card required, nothing, just your email, so then you can receive the link, of course. Um, we can't send the link to somewhere and you, you know, you don't have the email, so we need your email um, to, to send it up the link for you. Um, just go into the description of this video, go to the webinar link or something like that, or otherwise you can go to ACY website and then go to learn and then webinars and seminars. Wait the page to load, okay? Wait at least one minute, 30 seconds, 45 seconds, and then it will appear in there. All right, guys, uh, I hope everyone have a wonderful week ahead. I hope everyone could have a good rest on through the weekend with families, friends, or by yourself, even though, um, practicing some sports, doing some running, doing some activity, making your body feel alive. All right, guys, I talk to you in the next um, video or in the next um, webinar that's gonna be tomorrow. See you all, take care.